Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a new chapter. We are going to be looking at hydrocarbons and polymers as we start our macromolecule chapter. Uh, let me get my pen pulled up. Macromolecules. Okay, so we're going to be looking at large molecules, and this is going to kind of lead into our cell discussion uh, over the next month or so. And today we're going to take a look at these things called hydrocarbons and polymers, okay? Two very basic ideas that will help us lead into macromolecules. Uh, so before we can identify that, though, we need to talk about what a molecule is. Well, a molecule is simply, this is a, a structure of atoms that are covalently bonded. Let me write that a little better. Covalent bonded. Okay, so a structure of atoms that are covalently bonded, and we're going to talk about covalent bonds a lot during this, so I'll show you a picture of that in just a minute. And all of these macromolecules are based on carbon, and carbon is a very important atom in, in biology. Uh, carbon, first of all, it is number six on the periodic table and it always makes four bonds four bonds and that's extremely important because uh, when carbon makes four different bonds or four covalent bonds rather uh, we're, we can get a multitude of different structures that will do a lot of different things in the cell so carbon when we draw it okay we use the letter C and then we can draw little lines or dashes that represent bonds okay and a covalent bond so let's come back to this real quick a covalent bond this is when atoms are sharing electrons So these atoms are, over, are overlapping in a sense. So it, it, the, they can stick together one of two ways. They can stick, stick together like water where it's like a magnet and water, one molecule is right up next to another, but they can you know, pop apart. The other way to do it is when the electrons on that atom, so around the outside of the nucleus, they overlap, and, uh, like kind of like you're linking your fingers, and you, they're very hard to pull apart. So the covalent bonds are extremely, extremely strong, and every molecule that we look at is going to have a covalent bond. Some of the simplest molecules we're going to be looking at are called hydrocarbons. Okay, hydrocarbons. And these are carbons or molecules made of carbon and hydrogen only. Okay, molecules of only hydrogen and carbon. And the very simplest one is CH4. Okay, and this is a, a molecule with a carbon and four hydrogens around the outside. So hydrocarbons, again, only carbon and hydrogen in the molecule. And this carbon always has to have four bonds around it. Hydrogen, on the other hand, can only have one bond. So this has four bonds, and hydrogen only has one bond. Okay, we don't have to have just CH4, we could do C2H8, so let me get a different color. So if we're looking at another hydrocarbon, C2H8, we've got C, C oh I'm sorry, not H8, H6, Here, let me back up. Back. So c 2 H6, and this molecule is carbon, carbon, there's one, two carbons, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So the subscripts, remember, they tell you how many of the atoms to the left you have, and uh, so we've got two carbons and six hydrogens in this. Each carbon has four bonds, okay? If we go around and we count, we have one, two, three, four there, and then again over here on the left, one, two, three, four bonds around the carbon. And each hydrogen only has one bond. So the question becomes, all right, how do we get from CH4, okay, how do we get from this molecule over to that molecule? Okay, there's a couple different ways we can do it. And the first one we need to look at, we're going to be making these things called polymers. And polymers are kind of like a train, all right? And polymers are, are chains. 
of smaller molecules Okay, and these smaller molecules are called monomers. Okay, so think about um, like stereo speakers. We've got stereo or mono. Mono means you have one speaker or one sound output. Monomers are one building block of a polymer, right? Poly means many. So if this train, the whole thing, is a polymer, that means that each piece of the train so the engine, the coal, the first car, the second car, and the third car, these are all monomers of that train. Okay, We don't have a train unless we put all of the monomers together. You don't have a polymer unless you put all of the monomers together. So the monomers are the building blocks, building blocks of a polymer. So this, if we go back up here, okay, looking at this C2H6, this is a polymer, right? We have multiple repeating units. So if I take a look at it, I've got a methane and a methane, or a CH4 and a CH4. It's repeating. It's a building block over and over and over again. Trains work the same way, except trains are using cars rather than atoms.